Hello YouTube, this is Dark Knight 88 and I'm going to be making another Final Fantasy 14 video. This video is going to be helping with an add-on called Special Spell Timers that goes with Active Combat Tracker. Now of course add-ons are of course against swearing just to terms of service, but they've come up several times saying it's pretty much on a don't ask, don't tell policy. Meaning that don't grief anybody about it, don't talk about it, they never know about it, they don't really want to pursue it. Um, with this said, I do not suggest using add-ons as it can ref it can end up in disciplinary actions if you are one of those people that likes to grief or likes to use it to brag. I personally use add-ons only for my own personal um, improvements and the improvements of my party members and f free company members. Now with that said, this is also only for PS for PC. PS4 are not compatible with add-ons yet, however that is supposed to be changing within the next couple of patches. Square Enix has finally realized that add-ons are a necessity of MMOs. So the one we're looking at is spell, special spell timers. Now I will include the links of where to download ACT, where to download the uh, plugin for FF14 if you want the parser, as well as, as, well as where to plug download the plugin for um, special spell timers. Now what special spell timers will do is put bars on your screen. An example I'll show you quick. If I use Foresight, I have two different bars. Now we'll go over these bars in a bit and what, you, which, what each one means, but first let's go over using plugins. So first, head over to ACT. Now, <clears throat> first things first is when you download this, you're going to go to plugins, <clears throat> you're going to browse, find the plugin you want to use, it's faster spell timers, this is the parser, click on it, open, add enable, boom, it's right here. Once that's done, you'll see the options. Now for special spell timers, it's going to be in Japanese when you first get it. You have to click on the tab, go over to options, click this bar, turn it to English, click this button, exit, restart, and then it'll be in English. Um, make sure you click display overlay on, and you turn this number to one. If it's at zero, your spell timer will never hide, and that's not very fun when you're in a raid. So you want it to hide when you don't need it. So make sure that's a one. <coughs> now, we're going to go, uh, you can ignore tickers because we're not gonna do tickers. <coughs> I've not learned how to use combat analyzer, and tickers is just way too ridiculous about the X, Y coordinates that I don't really feel like those. Now to go to spell timers. When you want to import the file that I will be uploading, you're going to click import and select this one. However, if you wish to just do your own, we're going to go over that. First, let's go over cooldowns, making a cooldown. We're going to start with Dark Knight. Now the first thing we need to cooldowns, we need the spell name. We're going to use Convalescence. So the first thing we do is put in the panel name, Dark Knight. Then the spell name, Convalescence. And then we need the matching log to text. The magic log is you gain the effect of convalescence. You use convalescence will also work. Both are good. If you're not sure what the matching log might be for a spell or a cooldown, just go to your battle tab and click the spell. And hope that doesn't happen. Okay, now we're going to click convalescence. If you look down here, you gain the effect of convalescence. Now you can control C and copy this if you want. Anyways, you want the cooldown to start there because the cooldown actually starts at that time. So as you can see, this bar over here is the cooldown bar, as you can tell by the time um, and the time here. So the next thing we're going to do after we have that set up is you can change this, the font size, the color, the outline color, whatever you want, and then click save. An alarm in TTS, you can actually set a sound effect if you wish to, or you can do a text-to-speak. I usually use text-to-speaks more for the big moves that I'm not going to pay attention to and need to know are up, and my boss stuff. So, those are the cooldowns. When you're done, you're going to click Job Filter, and click the job. Dark Knight. OK. Save. Boom. Finished. You're done. That is the cooldown. Very simple, very easy. If you're confused, you know, go ahead and rewind and watch it again. We're now going to take a look at um, how long the spell actually lasts. So let's go again, go to Convalescence. And again, 
you're going to use a different pedal name this time. Dark Knight, I use Dark Knight Active Timers because it's the timer that's active. The reason I use two different panels is because then I can move them at two different spots on the board. I don't have to have them all here, and confusing me, I can have one here and one here. <clears throat> the next thing you do is, okay, our convalescence. You gain the effect of convalescence. And then this time is how long the spell lasts. Now, convalescence lasts 20 seconds, I believe. Yeah, convalescence lasts 20 seconds, so we have that at 20. Then we're going to have reverse direction, because this spell is running out of time, so I do the reverse. So it lets me know when the spell ends. Again, you can do the alarm TTS, job filter, dark knight, save. Now we're going to test this. As you'll see, I will have a blue bar, time bar right here, cooldown time, as well as my red bar for the actual length of spell lasts. So here we go. That's the length of the spell. So that's how long confluences will be up, and that's how long I have till it's ready again. I use two different colors so I can immediately ask, tell which is which by making them as different as possible. With that said, there you go, that's nice and easy. We're now going to take a look at the next one, the bosses. Now the bosses are a little more difficult. Um, bosses, you need to really count on, you need to really do the research into the moves, their rotations, look at the bill, um, the, the ability. If the ability has a countdown, it's really easy. For example, Carnage Zero has a three second countdown. So let's, let's go and take a look at Ravana. Ravana is a great one because she has both. We'll do the seeing right. Now the seeing right has a one and a half second countdown, but sadly you can only do in second intervals, so I just do one. Panel name is Boss Fights. Spell name is Seeing Right. The matching log is Ravana readies the seeing right. Whenever there's a spell with a cast time, it's always going to be readies plus the spell. The, the length of the spell casting, and if you're not sure what the spell length is, spell length is, you can always go to xivdb.com and type it in. The seeing right. As you'll see, it's going to be a 1.5 cast time. Say 1.5 seconds. Seeing wings as well. So you can see that all the seeing spells are going to be 1.5. If having issues with the boss, you're not sure exactly what the skill is, just, you know, if it has a cast time, you can go to xvd, you know, well, x, x, well, 14db.com, 14database.com, <clears throat> and it will show you exactly what the spell time is. Those are really easy. You can set this up, reverse direction, I like this color, however, I make this font a slight bit bigger so it sticks out better. And then, of course, I have an alarm, you know, this right here. The same right, reflecting right side, watch out. That just lets me know immediately to move out of the way. Now for a move that has, um, for example, the Warlord Shield, this is a little different. You can't, you have to actually use the effect because it's a buff, so Ravana gains the effect of Blessing of the Earth. The effect is called Blessing of Earth. It lasts 20 seconds. Um, so I put, you know, Boss Fight, Warlord Shield, Ravana, Blessings of Earth, 20 seconds. This is the same. Alarm TTS, you know, and this lets me know just how long it is until it goes. Now, we're not going to do job filter on this because it's not a job. This is going to actually be zone filter. Thok hard, thok extreme, just so we know it's up. So, on these bosses, you want the zone. So, the next second one that does not have a cast time. This is, for example, let's just say uh, Blinding Blade. <clears throat> this does not have a cast time. This is much harder. You actually need to find the rotation and time it. Now the, ro the move here is that comes before it is Ravana's uses Tapasya. Now there's an Atmalinga before it, but Atmalinga is usually in between each move. So we can't really just have Atmalinga because it will tell us when it, we, we can't define what's going to pop up. Now I had to do a lot of ta re watching to do this. And pretty much when it came to this fight, I realized that almost every single one... Let me find my blinding, let's say... 120 it was 134. When he did the tapasya, I watched till the end. Okay, stopped and has 37 seconds. I then watched and waited for him to do blinding blade. As soon as blinding blade hits, boom, stop. 45. 
I took the two times, combined them, I watched every single move, and realized that all except for one is about a six to seven seconds, one being five or six. With that, I put this as soon as she uses the pass, yes, six seconds will come blinding blade. Reverse direction, zone filter, thock versus thock as thock, alarming TTS, blinding blade in six seconds, blinding blade in three seconds, cast stone skin, then blinding blade. Odd that down. That pretty much sets up your bosses. <clears throat> now, those ones are a little more difficult because you actually have to find the movie for it, and it does take watching an entire fight and calculating. I looked up three different videos, and the timing was pretty much the same on all of them. This, however, has not been tested yet, so I'm not 100% sure how well this one works. The seeing left, however, these have been tested, and they work really well. Um, so now, Swift Liberation and Final Liberation are good ones to do as it allows you to do more DPS and know about when you need to get away. Because you don't really see the second counter on the time bar. Four seconds allows you to know, okay, I got four seconds to get away. Works really good. So that's pretty much our bosses and our buffs and our cooldowns. Now, there's one more last thing we're going to take a look at buffs. I should name that buffs. And that is for an example when you're playing someone like a ninja or a dragoon. We'll use dragoon with a battle blood of the dragon now blood of the dragon you know you can restore it um you can you know extend it with the moves so in order to extend it we want to have you you know first you fill out the normal way blah blah dragon timer blood of the dragon you use blood of the dragon blah 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 we want you use fang and claw and you use wheeling thrust these are the two moves that up it and remember that this does actually expend, extend it past the original time to a total of 60 of uh, 30 seconds. So you need to collect this box, and then that will let you know that it extends it. Once that's done, check out filter, make sure it's on the Dragoon. Okay, save, everything's good. And now whenever you use Fang Claw, it will extend it 15 seconds. You can do the same thing for Ninja. I'll go in as Futon. Now Futon does not get extended beyond the original cast time. So for Futon, you know, you have Futon, you gain the effect of Futon, 70 seconds, you gain Armor Crush, 30 seconds, but this box is not checked. That means that it will not extend past the original 70 seconds, it stops at that 70 seconds. So, <clears throat> pretty much the moves that are on the active timers are usually my DOTs and my buffs. Um, the last file on the set you'll see, and I will be uploading this file, is the active do, Activator Do Not Delete. Now I made all of these activators because I would make it and I would send it to someone and they would be 1010 and I didn't know why. Well the reason why is you cannot edit the location if you're not in the correct zone or the correct job. So by adding the job filter for, for the jobs, like this is one for healer, it's all the jobs, no matter what job you are, you can move it around. And in the boss ones, the zone filter has all the zones, so no matter where you're at, you can you can edit this to where you want to put it. <clears throat> so that is pretty much my easiest walkthrough. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. I will be more than happy to get you through it. Um, also, I will be uploading my full my um, export as well so that anyone who wants to use it can. Remember, it's still a testing process and I will keep it updated. So again, thank you for watching. This is Dark Knight 88. If you like this video, subscribe and like. Anyways, and any questions, feel free to comment. I will catch you guys next time I'm on.